Hi everyone, this is Pip, aka Peregrine, and this is my hormone replacement therapy journey, week 10. So today, I'm going to actually show you the process of taking my hormone shot. Isn't that exciting? Here is my box. It's a shoe box. I have everything I need in here. I have my alcohol swabs, band-aids, uh, the green needles, the syringes, and the red needles, um, which I will explain in a minute, and these uh, latex gloves, which I never use because I'm terrible. This is my sharps container where I dispose of all used needles for safety. Um, what I do is I throw them all in here and then when I'm done and this is full, I just close this top and then it won't come open again. I take it back to my clinic and they dispose of it for me. It's pretty sweet. Um, here are all the things I will be needing today. Here I have my testosterone. That is all of my manhood here in a tiny little bottle. Um, there's not a whole lot left, so I'm probably going to have to get a refill soon. Here is the red needle, or pink needle. This is the larger gauge. Um, yeah, it's a 18 gauge needle. This is... 23 gauge needle. I might be saying this wrong, but I'm going by that. That's what I assume it's called. And this is the little one. This is the one I actually use to inject into myself, whereas this one I use to draw the medicine up into the syringe from this little bottle. Uh, here, of course, is the syringe, individually packaged. I don't reuse the same ones over and over again. They all go in the sharps container. Here are the alcohol swabs. I need two of them. And then here is a band-aid. I don't usually even really need the band-aid, but I like having them on hand just in case. You never know when you might nick a capillary or a vein or something, even though you're not supposed to be aiming for a vein. Accidents happen. And I am not a trained phlebotomist or nurse or anything. So, all right. First things first, I need to open this alcohol swab. Uh, wipe off my container. I'm not actually going to do all this stuff on camera because I only have two hands, but I'm going to just walk you through it real quick. I swab this off, get it nice and clean, open up this red needle. Now I've washed my hands, so even though I'm not using the gloves, my hands are pretty clean, but I want to make sure I don't touch around this area and I don't want to touch the needle itself with my hands. <clears throat> The needle comes with a little plastic cap, so you don't have to worry about that as much. You screw it onto the syringe, you draw up the medicine into the syringe from the bottle, tap out any bubbles, switch to this needle, which also has a plastic cap on it, and then I take the second swab, find a spot on my thigh, my arm, um, or my butt cheek, which I don't usually do because that's too awkward for me to do on my own. And then I inject the medicine. Um, I carefully withdraw the needle, put a band-aid over the spot, put a little pressure on it, massage the area a little bit so that the medicine gets integrated into the muscle, and that's it. That's the whole process. So now you know. Um, you're not going to see a whole lot of my face today because I am doing this with the camera rotated uh, outwards, and it's really hard to record my face this way, as you may have noticed at the beginning of the video. So that's really all I wanted to say. Um, I have other stuff going on in my life, but most of that's on my Facebook, so if you know me well enough to see my Facebook, you'll be able to find that there. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you next week, and maybe you'll even see me. Bye!